discipline, loyalty, earn the right to wear the dragon doji. Hey, what's up everyone? All right, so it looks like we've got confirmation of the title of the upcoming CG animated Ninja Turtles movie that'll be coming out in 2023. And this was over here tweeted by the director of the film, Jeffrey Rowe. Uh, you could see here, he shares an article from Variety that says Variety's 10 animators to watch in 2021. Now, when you get into the article, you could see over here on the artist, Yashar Kasai, right under his picture in quotes, it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the next chapter. So it does look like we were correct in the original press release for this film when it got announced. We saw the phrase, the next chapter used multiple times then there was that filing that was made public where they were filing for the trademark of that name. And then we even saw it appear on one of the crew's social media pages, but it later got taken down. But now in this article, you can see it right there. That looks like that that is what the title of the movie is going to be. So yeah, big news here for the movie. It does look like things are starting to come out. All that we've had so far before this was that teaser image of what looked like school notes from Leonardo, which got everybody speculating is this movie going to be the turtles in high school maybe in a prior life before becoming turtles or possibly they accidentally get mutated into humans in the movie who knows we don't know much yet we have no info to go off of except that teaser image but that's the first thing people started saying when they saw it that's what they started speculating but let's go ahead and take a look at the article here and see what it says obviously it's a profile on the artist that's involved in the film and it says growing up watching star trek fostered a love for sci-fi in Dallas native Kasai, but although he was a fan, it wasn't until his sophomore year in college that he realized he could have a career in animation. Then it talks a little bit about his life in Los Angeles. Then it talks about how he moved over to Nickelodeon from Sony, and it says where he is now production designer on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the next chapter. The film is scheduled to come out in 2023. And then he has some comments here about the Turtles. It says, I have loved the franchise since I was a kid, confessing that Raphael is his favorite. I have bed sheets and lunch boxes and t-shirts and socks but now i'm trying to recreate a unique interpretation that is not too distant from the original franchise that we all know and are familiar with and also make it fresh i have seen that thrown out there a lot a unique interpretation also a reimagining i've heard that word in a different interview with like the head guy of nickelodeon family stuff which i'll go ahead and show you guys here at the end he talks about already have seen a cut of the movie probably just animatics and stuff so i'll show you that here at the end but let's keep going here with the article it says regarding the new turtles to make it new while not jettisoning what made ninja turtles so beloved kasai says you anchor yourself enough in familiar elements of it so that it is easily recognizable but then you either add or enhance some of the existing charm of the franchise i like his approach here usually when you hear these like reinvention of like franchises and stuff i feel like sometimes they just don't care about what made the franchise good in the first place it seems like just from what i've heard that this team kind of like understands what made the turtles so big and i think what they're gonna do is make it like they said recognizable but make it fresh for today's day and age maybe i'm being optimistic but i don't know i think this film's gonna be a good time but then down here it says with modern animation tools and 3d he feels a responsibility to make something cool for the new movie similar to spider-man into the spider-verse and the mitchells versus the machines which if you guys all have seen those movies you know this especially spider-man into the spider-verse that's such a great movie that really was a crowd pleaser so I think we're in for a treat. Now, he also, I think, worked on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, if I'm not mistaken. So they definitely have the tools to do it. So let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. I'm starting to get a little more hyped about this as more and more info is starting to come out. Uh, down here, there's a quote by Shalini Dore. I don't know if that's maybe somebody who works with him or who did the article. It says, it says the franchise deserves that, I think. So nice, cool little quote there at the end. And it does. The Turtles were such a huge thing in everybody's life. If you were around back in the 80s and 90s, you knew how big it was. It needs to be back up there with your Marvels, DCs, Star Wars franchises obviously those are really big now but the turtles need to be like at least right under them at least in my opinion i don't know but let's go ahead and move on over and take a look at that interview from brian robbins who is the president of family entertainment over there at viacom which is the parent company of nick so this is like the person in charge of everything pretty much and he talks about the turtles and this upcoming film 
a little bit about the larger movie strategy. We're really excited about the slate we've built, starting with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reinvention that's being produced by Seth Rogen and his partners at Point Grey Entertainment and one of the other... So yeah, super interesting. As you can see, a lot of the people talking about the film are talking about this version's uniqueness and right there you heard reinvention. So this is definitely going to be different, but I think it's going to have enough elements of the turtles that made people of the turtles there. There is a longer form of this interview on the CBS Viacom website where it's transcribed and it says, we're really excited about the slate we built, starting with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reinvention that's being produced by Seth Rogen. I saw the first animation of the movie last week and it's going to be amazing. So right there, you already know that there's already visuals to the film, whether that's just animatics or actual produced animation with the turtle designs and everything already. That I don't know, but if it is the latter, then there's already designs probably, which will be really cool to see when they get revealed. But that's super exciting. He says it's hysterical, and then it says quality matters more than ever now. We have to deliver quality, and we're really excited about the Turtles as a franchise in general, which he spoke about the Turtles franchise in a different interview, which we'll play in a minute. But I like that they are focusing here on that they have to deliver the quality, and it gets me hopeful that this movie will be good. But let's take a look at that other interview I'm talking about where he just discusses the Turtles franchise in general. And you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think. The, the more serious stuff to talk about is how crowded it, it gets at times. How do you differentiate yourself? What do you, what, when you go to bed at night, what, what's the last thing you think of in terms of, of just making streaming um, you know, more profitable for, for Nickelodeon, for Viacom? Sure. Well, we're really excited about our momentum with Paramount+. Plus. Uh, and what we want to do is continue to leverage our biggest franchises, like SpongeBob, like Paul, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, into, you know, direct-to-consumer relationships with our audiences. And, you know, what the audience is telling us right now is they want more. They want more of the characters they love and the stories they love. Um, and if we get it right, you know, we could create sort of one of the most important things you could have with a franchise, and that's love. And with that love comes loyalty. Um, and we know that consumers want more than just watching the film or the or the TV show. You know, they want to ride the ride. They want to wear the pajamas, use the toothpaste. And Super interesting comments there. From what I got, it sounded like to me like they're going to do something on streaming platforms, specifically their Paramount Plus one that they run. Interesting indeed. Now, that's about everything we know so far about the new upcoming movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the next chapter coming out 2023. You can already see people doing some fan mock-up logos and pages for the film. This is going to be very exciting to cover. I hope you guys enjoyed the updates on the reboot. I will see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care. Armed.